Plastic is one of mankind's greatest and most versatile inventions, but it's also possibly the most destructive. As we start to use plastic for more and more of the things around us, maybe it's time we took a pause and started thinking about what possible consequences could come from this much plastic. Plastic waste and where it ends up has been a hotly debated subject over the past few decades. With over 300 million tons of plastic waste every year, it can end up in some pretty interesting places. However, the real danger lies in what happens after the waste finds its resting place. Microplastics are plastic particles that are of a certain size, so you can't actually see them with a naked eye. Some people assume that if it's considered micro, that means that you can't actually see them, but you can. So they're the smaller plastics that are less than five millimeters. And so a lot of times the plastics that we see in the environment that become microplastics or manufactured in a microplastic size, um, they break down after they enter the environment. So this can be due to things such as they break down because they're exposed to a lot of sunlight. They break down because they're exposed to different temperatures. Um, they can also be eaten by a lot of different organisms, which also causes them to break down as well. After plastic breaks down to form nano and microplastics, these particles find their way into streams, rivers, and groundwater. Then, these particles flow directly into the sea, wrecking havoc on coastal ecosystems. Our oceans are the foundation for all living things, but they're slowly dissolving due to a multitude of factors. One of which is the epidemic of microplastic spreading across every corner of the globe. Oceans cover over 70% of Earth, yet we know more about the explorable universe than the depths of our seas. Plastic, however, has reached every inch of the ocean, with pieces even being found at the bottom of the Mariana Trench, almost seven miles beneath the surface. After plastic is carried into the ocean by streams and rivers, it begins to break down into smaller and smaller pieces. From there, ocean currents spread the particles across the globe. However, Hawaii in particular seems to have it worse off than most places. So Hawaii has some of the largest accumulation rates of plastics because of our position. So because of the northeasterly trade winds, we get a lot of plastic pollution from other places getting pushed to Hawaii. Um, so there was a study actually conducted by Hawaii Pacific University's lab and they found that essentially a majority of the plastic products that are washing up here on beaches as well as on the sea surface are actually from distant faraway places um, and so we actually have very little locally based plastic pollution here within the Hawaiian archipelago. With such a high concentration of plastic in our coastal waters it can start to pose threats to ocean life in many different ways. So we think of plastics as physical threats because these organisms are now eating this foreign material that's now entering this organism and sometimes they get stuck within their stomachs. Um, we also think of plastics as a chemical threat. So as I mentioned before, plastics um, come with this variety of different chemicals added during manufacturing, as well as plastics can accumulate chemicals once they're in the environment. Um, so this organism could be whatever organism ends up eating this piece of plastic is now eating all of these associated chemicals that are now attached to this piece of plastic. So, what actually happens after organisms ingest these things? Well, the short answer is, we don't exactly know a whole lot about it, but preliminary studies have shown that microplastics and their associated chemicals harm the reproductive cycles of fish and other organisms, which isn't a great start. As more and more microplastics flow into our oceans, it will take a huge toll on the health of marine life. But it isn't just marine life that is affected, what happens when a fish full of plastic and chemicals ends up on your dinner plate? 